So, Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. Liverpool suffered their second defeat of the season, their first real defeat of the season. Um, obviously, the Tottenham game, they got duped out of. Um, but, Kenny, you was at the game, you're still at the ground. Um, we see the starting 11, no Jesus today. We're thinking, mm, OK, no Smith Rowe in the team, Jorginho. Yeah, mm. and then you're thinking, oh, this could be a tough day. Tough day. We then start really well. Mm. Um, for, well in fact, let's stop before that. 20 seconds in, they put a ball over the top. It bounces off Jota. And I was thinking, oh, no. Mm. Then after that, yeah, we broke away. How Saka missed that, man. What a throw from the goalkeeper. Yeah. What a cross from Martinelli after burning Canati. But then we get the goal. Then we should have had another goal after that. I'm thinking, we're on top here. We've got to take our chances. Yeah. They're, they're playing crap. Yeah, yeah, we're making them look crap. And then right on half time, Kenny, like there's, I've seen people blaming the goalkeeper. For me, that's Saliba all day long. Clear the ball, mate. It's and it, it's it, it's half, it. After burners come on, and we got that goal at the right time. Big up Alisson and Van Dijk. But what did you well, make it, mate? Well, first and foremost, first and foremost, yeah, talking about what you said about the goal, their goal. Yes, sorry, defenders always, always, always have to be in charge. I don't care where it is. If it's a choice between defender and the goalie, the goalie should not have to make that situation. You have to clear that ball and kick it in the rose head. That gave Liverpool an into the game. Setting off, they, they were all guns blazing. But the thing is that just like when we're on top, um, we didn't score that allowed Liverpool back in the game. Just like when Liverpool were on top, Liverpool um, didn't take their chances. And then uh, Alisson and Van Dijk makes a mistake. But I must say, it was nothing to do with Alisson. My brother corrected me on the WhatsApp services. When I saw it, at the end of the day, the same criticism I have for Saliba, I think Liverpool fans should talk about Van Dijk. You know, the fact is, is that they were on top of the game, in my opinion, where they're where they beginning to control, control the game. And then for, for them to... Um, you know, like I said, that makes sense. You've got to remember, they took off Alexander Arnold when they won one, yeah. thinking they're on top of the game, trying to save his legs for what I do not know. And then they, they brought they they brought on the reinforcements when you know that that is how confident Liverpool were looking. And then for you know them to make a mistake, but I'm really happy with that. You know, special praise has to go to Declan English. I don't call him Declan yeah. Rice. I call him Declan English. Declan English was immense. That is Declan English's best game in the Arsenal show. To get all these early seasons, you know, like I said, um, how do I say, um, fairy tales about how great he was. Today, this is the game where Declan English earned his money. He was brilliant. He First was half, he was outstanding, mate. Exactly. And in second half, he, he carried it on. The way he was breaking up attacks, the then giving the, letting the ball a better place. Also, got to give um, kudos to Jorginho. Now, Jorginho is a player that we criticise a lot. We don't think he's what we need. You know, we have a go at him because he's not... Um, Thomas Pye, but I thought Jorginho today worked his absolute nuts off, got the ball and, and never gave the ball away. Got to give him special, special kudos. You know, Benjamin White was a bit of nuisance today as well, to Liverpool that is, until, you know, he got sparked out by one of their players, I think Diaz. What did, but, what you, did know, you make of 29 today? Because I, my, I thought I 29, thought... the first 75 minutes, I thought he was pretty average, yeah? But then after the first, that 75 minutes, yeah, we, we're obviously winning the game. Mm. Yeah, and then after that, it was like he was just drifting and staying out wide as an outball, and then he was being a proper shit house man. And I was like, "Yo, he's from the refs, uh, the Lino's flag on the floor." He was yeah. barging into Van Dyke and rolling around. I was like, "This is how, this is how you beat Liverpool. You play them at their own game." Definitely, yeah, definitely. Our parts. Yeah, well, definitely. You thought about it, right? Liverpool. If you look at their game at Chelsea, they pressed Chelsea out into submission. We did the same to them to a certain extent, where we have probably a bit more quality than Chelsea. But one thing we'll, we'll, we'll say about Havertz, I didn't know he had any pace. You got, you got to be, you got to see him live. I was shocked. There were times when he was coming out that left hand side. I went, bloody hell, Martin! And then, oh, bloody hell! He's bloody, he's bloody six foot four and big pole, and he's skinning, he's skinning Kanate. He, you know, don't get wrong, don't get Kanate, Kanate had the recovery pace to get back with him. But I thought Havertz today, I thought he was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely on it today. You know, he justified his selection. Obviously, he doesn't give us what um, Trujillo, uh, sorry, Jesus gives us in terms of like bringing others into the game. But there's thin times where he creates space where there isn't. The only problem, the only thing I want to give him a, probably um, the cane for is the fact that it shouldn't have been Saka who put that, that goal away for the first one. It should have been him because he was his chance. Got to put that away. Do much better because, you know, Saka might not be always there. And there were times in the second half when he got into positions down the left where I thought, come on, put the ball in, put the ball in. Because when he when he waits and waits, Liverpool get back into shape yeah. and make clearances. But you know he, he gave his all today. You know what? 
that is an option that you know maybe maybe you know when when you play 65 million pounds for a player if he's not if he can't do what you want to do in midfield there is always an option where you can use his height as a target man and to play up top he does have that kind of um we now know that he's got pace quite a bit of it as well and we now know um that you know that there, there's a goal for we've already known that so if anyone was to say oh how can you say cavett saying got pace sit where i was sitting and see it for yourself don't look at the cameras be way up. i'm not saying i've got an advantage over you guys because i was at the grand but i have trust yeah me. no if, you, if, you're, if, you're live and you're, if you're pitch side trust, you can see it a lot trust, more trust, better. trust me trust me i was as shocked as anyone there is bloody pace to burn i couldn't believe it mate there was pace to burn you have to look at their air first goal but sa saying that in terms of what we got to do i think even though it was the opposition that we were, you know great opposition but when you do win games like beating Crystal Palace convincingly, and then the beat, you know, holding your own against Nottingham Forest, you know, especially when they had that late onslaught, you know, going to Liverpool, you have to go into these games in a better frame of mind. When we played in the cup, we weren't in a great frame of mind. We weren't playing well. We haven't really exactly been, sh you know, shooting up, you know, performances. But today, I think we were on it because, you know, this was very much the last chance saloon in terms of like where we are in a title race. We are part mm. of the title race. And we, we, it's now, it's, it continues to be a free horse race between all of us. The results depending, but you know, we know what's a, we know. Man City have got a very difficult game against Brentford. I can't wait to watch it. I'm sure you're going to do a watch along um, yep. regarding that. I'm sure that's something we're going to talk about in our, our podcast. But mm. say, in, say, in saying that, this is this is this is big boy football now. This is where the men, men turn up. I was asking for a performance, be honest. And I say it between me, you, and the chat, I would have settled for a draw. I really want to settle with a draw. But I'm taking really this win by our hands. So I'm buzzing. <laughs> well, I'm buzzing, definitely. But I thought, I thought, you know, when they got their um, fortuitous equaliser, and then when they started great, um, like like a sting trying to set it off, the best thing you can do is just hold your own and just, you know, rely on your goalkeeper. A lot of people, you know, have given our goalkeeper quite a bit of criticism. But it's times like this with his distribution and his, his, his ability on crosses, you've got to shake yeah, his ass. He caught so much today. He caught, he caught you've got so shake. much. He's only, he's only six foot. He's, mm. you, know, he's, you know, I'm not saying that Ramsell um, doesn't give his ass car insurances with crosses, but you can't, you can't knock his performances since he's, since he's had that criticism, you know, mm. since the Chelsea game. You can't knock him. I know people mm. will never accept him. No, people are trying to a... blame him for that equaliser, yeah. mate. Yeah, never in a million years, mate. How can you blame a goalkeeper for a defender not clearing his line? No, no. I, I say it once, say it a thousand times. Even if the goalkeeper, even if it's goalkeeper's ball, doesn't matter. You, you, you do not try and jockey the, the the forward or opponent. You kick the ball out and ask questions later. If the goalkeeper shouts you, stuff it. Yes, it's his area, but when it's a situation where where six yards goal... out, get rid six of it. yards out, you right, get rid of it. Time. Right, right, and, and, and you know that you know Klopp's um, team talk. You know, um, you know, it's a lot different. But at the end of the day, that's all relative. Now we've got the points. We won the game. Right next next week, West Ham is just going to be just as difficult. West Ham are going for a bit a slump of form. West 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 Ham got piped by Man United. You know, I'm sure a lot of people expected West Ham to produce what were a lot of people would be a shot result. But, you know, West Ham have got, um, you know, impetus into this. You know, they're still in Europe. They want to get into the top four, um, the top six through, um, or the Europa League through um, the league position. So, you know, they know they can beat us. We've got to take advantage of the fact that there's no Pakitar. We've got to take advantage of the fact that he play, he's not playing kudos down the right. He's playing down the right, that, um, down the left. So we've got, to, it's one of the things where enjoy this result because I think we've, had, we've taken a lot of criticism. We've been critical of the, 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 the players themselves. They've got to enjoy this because, you know, you never know what ran right a corner. But come um, Monday, you know, lunchtime, it's all back West Ham. Back, yeah, back on it again. Um, one more thing before we go. Um, today, um, Jürgen Klopp's subs didn't do anything. Yeah, and our subs did. Um, so credit to Mikel Arteta. Oh, you got, when you he, got to get, you got when to he took Martinelli off, I was fuming. Martinelli was fuming. Yeah, yeah Martinelli but, was fuming. But I, I, I can see what's happening. I actually do think that, you know, um, Trossard would keep possession a lot better and does that Mate, the, way he's, the way he spun um harvey elliott he sent him back to the academy, academy uh, mate. yeah but you, yeah, you got, you, you got yeah but you've got you, when you when you look at the liverpool substitution the way he substitutes um you know with trent alexander arnold that signifies how much control liverpool are in and how much of a gift 
and that, no, but that was it. That, yeah, yeah. that was shooting himself in the foot. When he when he definitely. put up sixty six, I said to the lads on the watch line, I was like, why are they taking him off? I know, yeah, definitely, because it's you need that kind of quality. Expert, that's their corner hey, expert. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah, you can cross the ball consistently. Uh, definitely, yeah, but you know that that, sim that simplifies is how much control they they had in the game. But one thing you mm -hmm. one thing you've got to say is that you know that's what happens in football. We've had situations where people have um, benefited from our sloppiness, and we've got to benefit from other people's sloppiness. But you know, still loads of football we play. But yeah, day you've got to keep yourself part of that conversation we have today. We will win today, and we're there, man. We're there. Listen, Kenny, get home safely, mate. Make sure you follow Kenny Ken nineteen seventy two. Please do. And um, yeah, we're uh, we'll be back for the podcast tomorrow. But yeah, man, listen, I'm glad you've seen it. Um, what three? We've, we've done what three wins in a row now. Two of them. At home. Yeah, oh, it's one seen, more uh, eight one... goals in the last two games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't complain. One thing we'll say, Jace, if you're watching, like I said, yeah. Yeah, so I hope the op goes well. Yeah, big up to Jez, man. Listen, get yourself home safely, mate. Oh, speak to you soon. Okay. All right, bye. Hey, bye. Bye. bye.